there and said, Mom, hey, they asked us these questions at school, made us fill out this questionnaire. This is like crazy. You shouldn't give this to a, a sixth grader. This shouldn't be up to the school to bring up. I wasn't ready for my son to be exposed to these type of things. Your friend invites you to go to a gay bar. Your sister invites her new boyfriend home to dinner. He is a female to male transsexual. Uh, the what? AG president in what the area it? hall is putting herself through school by exotic dancing. Okay. All right. Um, yeah. At 11 years old, what was I doing at 11 years old? Thinking about exotic dancers or male to female, female to male transac tran transsexuals? Um, was I thinking about gay people or lesbians or, uh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I'm 11 years old, but I'm very, very uh, intuitive. I am thinking you're speaking with a Vietnamese accent. What, what? Um, hmm, Da Nang, maybe? Uh, what, what, I was putting baseball cards on the spokes of my bicycle with a clothespin so it sounded like a motorcycle. That's what I was doing at 11. Man, did I miss a lot. All right, this is what was given to Well, <clears throat> we're going to discipline. What kind of discipline? David, it's 2.35. Uh, would you make another call to Birdwell? I, well, actually... I would have you ask for the guy by name, except there's just oh he's not here. Um, I did call earlier today. That's the answer I got. Yeah, well, okay. <laughs> Don't ask for anybody in particular. Say hi. This is Dave David, the producer of the Rick Roberts show. Mm -hmm. He would. Uh, I'm not mad. I'm not upset. If my kids were in that class, I would be. But I'm I'm not. Um, he Rick would like to know what type of discipline is normally met out for this type of inappropriate action okay all right so don't make don't put the burden of proof on them just say rick would like to know what type of disciplinary action is is given for this type of inappropriate behavior okay i can do that all right we'll see if we can get an answer for you before the end of the show okay. let's go to my guest educators how comfortable am i questionnaire let's go to denise in north richland hills denise how you doing Hi, I'm uh, I'm doing okay. Um, just first want to say I love your show. Thanks. I appreciate <laughs> um, that. You're very welcome. Um, I'm actually one of the uh, parents of one of the children that this survey was given to. You you are, really? Were you, yes. were you quoted by the news? No, I was not because I was not informed of the survey until after the uh, meetings and everything. Ah. I was not called until after the uh, news and everything was uh, uh, at the school and all that good stuff. I don't know how they missed calling me, um, but um, I do. I was told when the principal called me that this survey was given to six students. Yes, six. Six One, two, students. Three, four, five, six. Not yes. sixth grade students, but six students. Well, the students range from sixth grade to eighth grade. My student is an eighth grader. Okay, so sixth grade to eighth grade. And so yeah. it, the school is saying only six students saw this. What, is the class only six people? Well, it, there, there's another kicker to it. Ah. Um, it's a special needs class. Well, that's even worse. Yes. Um, well, for, the, what? Good Lord. It's an emotional, it's an emotional needs class. Wait a minute, um, you're telling me, a spe and I have more than a passing knowledge of this, uh, having uh, worked alongside people that work with special needs kids. You're telling me this is a special needs class for emotionally disturbed kids. Yes. That's, this, this is, that's criminal to, to expose my, this, them, to the, uh, them to this. My grandson, I'm just going to tell you about my grandson. I don't want to say anything about any other children. My grandson I'm raising, he was um, taken from his mother, um, and his siblings were adopted outside of our family, and they were adopted by a lesbian couple. And now my grandson has PTSD. He's got uh, emotional damaging, and he's got um, behavior issues and things like that. So, therefore, he's been deemed a... Uh, special needs child, he's been deemed a uh, special education. And that's why he's in this class. And uh, I asked him about the survey and he said that it was only given to the students that are with this specific teacher all day long. 
which is six other students. Because I was asking him, because my grandson happens to be Hispanic, so I was wondering, you know, well, maybe he was, you know, pointed out because of his race or because of, you know, I was trying to figure out why it was just six students, because that's what the principal had told me. Did you see a copy of this at the time he told you about it? Okay. No, because he did not bring it home. And... um, I, when I heard about it, I heard about it actually on WBAP. They had said something about it, and that was the day that the school called me was the day that you guys first said something about right, it. Right, right. Because I listen to y'all every day, and I was uh, on my way to work, and I heard about it on there, and I was like, what? And I was about to call the school when I got to work, and that's when the school had called me first before I had a chance to call them, and she had told me about it. The principal did. Okay, so what, she, what did – okay, Denise, before we go much further, and if it's too personal – uh, it's your prerogative uh, whether to answer or not, all right? Um, you know, yeah. I don't want to get into somebody's business. Um, but I heard you break down just a moment ago. You started to cry. What, yes. What is that, if you if you don't mind ask, me asking? I will tell you, um, because my, like I said, his siblings were adopted by a lesbian couple, and this could have triggered a emotional breakdown in my grandson. This this With, questionnaire? Yes, because it asked about how comfortable are you around lesbian people or gay people or how would you feel about going to a gay bar or things like that. Well see that's why I don't understand. And, why would you get you why would you give this to any sixth, seventh or eighth grader? But especially exactly. an emotional needs kid. Why would you do that? Exactly. And and the other thing, you asked about this teacher. Well, let me tell you, um, the very first week of school This might out my grandson automatically, but the very first week of school, they didn't read his special education paperwork. It specifically says on there that you are not to touch my grandchild when he's in an anger outburst. This teacher had a bigger teacher uh, come in and restrain my grandson and threw him against a wall, had a police officer come in and throw my grandson against a police car, had him in handcuffs. All because he cussed their teacher. Well, my, you know that to people me. to people that don't know that may sound like you know very very extraordinary behavior. But in special needs classes, they deal with a lot of this emotional yeah. outburst, a lot of different things, and they're you know they have certifications to deal with emotional um, distraught kids that need uh, special attention. Um, yes, how, and they your, never how, read. How's he they doing? Never read his paperwork. How's they he doing now? How's he doing now? He's, he's doing great. He's a good kid. He really is. He he does get in trouble at school a little bit, but he's doing much better. When he's playing football, he's better. But um, season's not in right now. But he's he's a good kid. He really is. Um, you know, now that he's been with us for a couple of years, he's doing better. And like I said, I was he's been in and out of alternative schools because of his behavior. And it's because of his anger outbursts and things like that. Is he on medication? He is not on medication anymore. He is on medication for the depression. Yeah, I'm not. not by for, the way, I'm not yes. suggesting that medication is the the beginning and end of all situations. Many times, it exacerbates an already pre existing condition. So that's not what I was right. saying. I was just asking. Um, well, I gotta I gotta take a break. Um, but I, I hate to leave you like this. Uh, did you get any satisfaction from the principal at all? None. None. They just told me that she that this teacher had been uh, disciplinary action had been taken, and they would not tell me what disciplinary action. So I asked my child. I said, um, "What?" Uh, I said, "Is this teacher still at work?" And of course, I know what teacher it is. And he said, "Yeah, she was there." I said, "So she was there today?" And he said, "Yeah, she was there, and she has not missed today." Well, I like I said, probably. Uh, to them, disciplinary action means she has to bring the uh, the muffins every day for the next two weeks to the teacher's lounge. Uh, listen, listen, I'm going to keep a positive thought, throw up a prayer for you and your uh, your son, Denise. Uh, you're doing a good thing. I was raised by my grandparents, and, you know, that's kind of a special thing. You don't have to do that, <laughs> but you are doing it. Um, and uh, it sounds like you care very deeply. And, Denise, hang in there. Things... Uh, Things have a way of working themselves out. 2.43 the time. All right, you heard the how comfortable am I questionnaire. What do you think the discipline should have been for this teacher? I mean, unless she can't read. If the teacher can't read, 
Oh, I don't know what is the, I don't know what this is. Here, you read it. You're six. You're eleven years old. You figure it out, um, and then hand it in. 